Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thank you for tuning in and checking in. As the title says, today I wanted to uh, read a couple comments. Uh, the comment section is always an interesting place. You know, you get you get all sorts of stuff. I always like reading the uh, comments section because it's always good to see what people think of the videos. Uh, you know, you get some positive feedback, some negative, some constructive criticism, uh, some good suggestions for things to uh, review going forward, and then all sorts of crazy stuff in between. So uh, I realized that it had actually been a long time since I did a video where I just broke open the comments, uh, took a look at a couple, just kind of maybe dissected a few, and uh, tried to make what I can of them. So I thought, yeah, why not? You know, these are an awful lot of fun to do, and I uh, hope you find it enjoyable as well. So I'm going to scoot over here a little bit, so then I'll edit in the comments right here. And uh, let's just go from there, you know? We'll just take a look at a couple comments, see what people have to say, maybe some questions, some feedback, and uh, maybe a little bit of everything, right? So uh, let's just take a look at some comments and see what people have to say about the videos. Uh, all these comments are pretty recent from about the last week or two, so they kind of deal with some of my recent uh, reviews and videos. All right, right here, this is a... I actually get comments not necessarily like this completely, um, but I do get comments a lot from people who, you know, maybe they don't necessarily agree with, you know, whatever my assessment of an item is. Uh, some people get really, really passionate about their fast food places and items, like this guy who said, Dude, you have no idea what the F you're doing. I eat Shake Shack every day, and their fries are the best. <laughs> I want to rip off your tie and shove their fries down your throat until you change your mind. <laughs> Some people, like I said, they get really fired up over this stuff, and, uh, you know, the funniest thing about this is that, and I think the Shake Shack thing, that's the last video that I even did, um, I didn't even, I didn't even dislike the fries. I thought that they were okay. I said that they were average fries, um, but what was interesting, there were a number of comments from people who, I mean, they were real fired up over that analysis, you know, they really liked the fries, and obviously we didn't see eye to eye on everything, um, but this one was easily, this one took the, uh, took the cake, or I guess the fry, uh, in this instance, rip the tie off. I don't really know where that came from, but uh, I just have no idea where people even get this stuff. But they <laughs> rip the tie off and shove those french fries down my throat, I guess. Until, I don't think an experience like that would make me change my uh, mind about the fries. I think if anything else, it would make me, I would probably dislike them even more. So I, I think this guy has the wrong approach there. Um, I just don't think this would really work. Well, this is a suggestion. Some people always have video ideas, which again, it's interesting. They have review suggestions, etc. Uh, review bra, I have an idea for a future video. Please hear this out. I would give anything to see you buy a couple thousand euros. I guess this is from, I reviewed a hero from Arby's. And drain all the sauce into your hot tub, light a couple candles to set the scene, stir it up with an old broom, and then leap into the sauce pool and submerge yourself in the juices. <laughs> These are two good... Where do people come up with this sort of stuff? I'm just visualizing this in my mind. Because the thing you have to see is, is when I reviewed that gyro from Arby's, uh, I thought that there was way too much sauce, and it was just disgusting to the point where I couldn't really properly enjoy it. It didn't taste that bad, but it was just kind of gross, you know? Oh my, I can't... Just imagining this hot tub filled to the brim with this sauce and the candles and... I feel like this is some sort of, like, ritual or something, and if I do this, it's gonna summon Cthulhu or something, and, like, there's just gonna be lightning and thunder, and then some creature is gonna start bubbling up to the surface while I'm in there or something, and it's... I can't even imagine that. Uh, now, the other reason why I wouldn't do a video like that, number one, of course, at risk of summoning some sort of ancient monster, uh, the second reason why I won't do a video like that is because I actually did something kind of similar about six years ago. Uh, I really liked honey barbecue sauce at the time, so I filled up a bathtub about halfway uh, with the honey barbecue sauce, and I just, I dived into that thing, you know, as best I could. Obviously, I was only partially submerged, but I kind of feel like this is one of those things I've already done it a little bit, so uh, I don't think it's an experience I need to repeat again. 
Now, speaking of sauce, I guess we're going with the sauce comments tonight. Uh, the anti-mayo agenda is really taking everything out of proportion. Again, if some people, they get frustrated with me. They say, oh, you know, uh, you're too biased against mayo. And, I, you know, I've been, I've been upfront about how I feel about mayo. I may not be the biggest fan of mayonnaise, um, but I don't think that I go out of my way to bash it, and I try to be impartial. I'm not really a mayo type of person, but obviously if a sandwich has mayo on it, I'm still going to get it with the mayo on it, for the sake of the review. And I understand that, look, it provides moisture, it can provide some flavors, lots of people like the mayo. I'm not going to sit there and pitch a fit just because there's a little bit of mayonnaise on a sandwich. And, uh, I mean, I don't think I go out of my way to uh, attack places because, you know, they do. But, again, maybe some people, they really do like the mayo and they feel I'm a little too harsh, but I try not to be. This is one of those questions they don't really understand. He touches everything in sight and then eats with those same unwashed hands, how does he not get sick? I really don't think that I, I touch a whole lot of stuff. I mean, I, I, yeah, I touch the packaging, and I touch maybe the table a little bit, and maybe my water uh, cup, but I don't really think that I like, go around and you know, scrape my hands on the floor for 15 minutes uh, before I eat, and that's it. I mean, one thing that you have to remember, I think nowadays with all the COVID, um, you know, I think a lot of people take high, hand hygiene a little more seriously. Um, but before that, you know, think about how many people really don't wash their hands all that much. So uh, that's a, something to consider. The other thing is that, you know, again, I try to take good care of my hands. I keep my nails, which again, are a little longer. I understand that. Uh, I keep them clean. You know, I always, I actually have a, I kind of brush under them and, you know, make sure that there's nothing there. And, uh, you yeah, know, use hand sanitizer, soap, you name it. I keep my hands uh, quite clean, I feel. Um, the only exception is on Tuesday nights. Uh, the neighbors, what they do is, that's usually when they eat pizza, and they'll get some dominoes, and they'll throw the leftovers in their garbage can, and, and sometimes I'll go over there, you know, and I'll kind of crawl on all fours, and, you know, like a, like a raccoon-esque creature, I'll work my way up the side of the garbage can, kind of go inside of it, and then eat the snack in there, and then leave, but even after that, I wash my hands when I'm done, so, you know, but that's the only thing that I could really think of, so, um, I don't really, that, that question just doesn't really resonate with me. Uh, this one came in, another one where people just get so, like, I would say irrationally angry over certain things. Um, this one was released, or I should say, I guess it's left, on the video that I released, there we go, uh, about the Little Caesars pizza where they, where they sent me the safe. And I kind of explained that whole debacle. I don't really know what this person meant by it, but they said, knock this bleeping gimmick off already. I wish someone would smash that safe over your head, or at least locked your stupid inside a safe and left you there. <laughs> Some people, again, they get, they get real fired up over the things that I do. And like, I just don't understand, number one, what they meant really by the gimmick. I don't know... I, I just don't know how some people interpret certain things. And uh, then I don't understand where, like, it goes from, okay, someone might be a little frustrated with the content that I make, but then the line gets crossed between someone just saying, you know, knock this off, and then they say, hey, you know, I want to smash this over your, or I just want to, I guess they're saying, just lock you in a safe, throw away the key, and uh, just leave me there to rot. So, uh, I just don't understand what gets people so fired up sometimes. I mean, what's, it's, it's just funny to me when I just put this into perspective. I'm sitting there reviewing a pizza, right? And then some people leave these sorts of comments. I just don't understand it. Um, there you go. Some people get all upset. This is another theory. Damn, them eyes is glassy. You must be all smoked up. And then this person responded saying it's the only way to keep the food down. And that's not, you know, I get this a lot. A lot of people uh, question my sobriety. This person was, I guess, in reference to a joke that I made about some sauce. They said, red hot chili sauce, you effing idiot. Red hot chili peppers, are you high again? And uh, I get that so often. People say, look at your, look at your bug eyes, you know. They, they, they look like this or they look like that or you're laughing at this or doing that, you know. Uh, I, I, what, what, what are you on, review, bro? I am high. Uh, I'm high... All the time, pretty much. High on life. 
<laughs> I've made that stupid joke so many times because I get this question so often and I think I've responded like this this brings back some deja vu. <laughs> I feel like people have uh asked me this many times before and I think I've had the exact same retort, but I'll keep it going like a like a running joke or something. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm a stupid and ugly you are. <laughs> Uh, I just let that one speak for itself right there. I don't even know what to say about it. Let it speak for itself. That's all that I'll say. You know, he, he has every right to uh, to think what he does about me. Now, one thing that a lot of people comment on, and, you know, they, they've speculated greatly about this over the years, where exactly did I come from? By that, I mean, how was I introduced into this world? Uh, lots of people, you know, they have different things. Am I part animal? Am I a vampire? Am I a zombie? Am I a space alien? Uh, what exactly am I? And, you know, people again have come up with many theories uh, as to my creation. So, for instance, many people speculate, this is usually on a daily basis, I would say, not trying to be rude, but you are a alien. Look at your face. Indeed, it is very, very similar uh, in terms of, you know, maybe what a space alien would, at least as is purported, you know, the curvature, the gray skin, the absolutely massive eyes, uh, no antenna though, that's actually behind the ears because that's how I, that's how I get the best shortwave reception. Um, but there definitely are some, you know, some similarities. I can understand where that speculation comes from. Um, but there are some competing theories that I think really do hold an awful lot of water. Uh, this individual just a day ago said someone extracted the DNA from Christopher Walken, Eddie Cantor, and Pee Wee Herman. The result can be seen here. So please remember to get some sunlight uh, as much, or get, get some sunlight as you may have a serious vitamin D deficiency. Now, I, I, I am pale, and I know that sometimes, again, the color of my skin may it may seem as though like I am some sort of cave monster uh, that I you know primarily live underground, and um, again that's partially true. That, that, that is partially true. Uh, I do make sure that I get some sunlight and I take some vitamin D also. So you know I just make sure that I I stay up to date on vitamins and supplements and get some fresh air and all of that. So I'm already I'm already doing that. Um, but again, this is. Not let, you're not really saying that I'm sort of a, a space alien or anything, um, but more or less that I'm some sort of lab experiment. And uh, again, obviously, uh, this is one of the theories that definitely, that definitely holds some water. Uh, I think some people have also said, you know, that they think that I am kind of like a, a lab creation, maybe from Area 51, maybe not, and I kind of, you know, somehow crawled out of there and escaped. Um, but I've seen a lot of people actually say that they think that, like, the, the various DNA was dumped onto a, uh, like, a microwave dish. Uh, then, I think someone said, like, a pair of sunglasses was thrown on, um, half of a necktie, and then they just turn it on for about ten minutes, and, uh, that's how I, that's how I entered the world. Um, but again, that's just unfounded, no one really knows at this point, um, but that is one of the leading theories, and, uh, I think there are many, many researchers and investigators, you know, trying to crack the case. On to a different subject, a very different subject. Do you ever wear a clip-on ponytail while singing to the tune of I whip my hair back and forth with then, I think that looks like a baby emoji. Uh, again, like we were just saying about things that are partially true, that is partially true. Uh, one thing that I do a lot of the time, now not always, this is like I always call it a pre-game, um, not ceremony, but for lack of a better word, I guess it is, uh, that I'll do maybe like on every like second or third review of mine. Before I turn the camera on, you know, I try to find a way to kind of pump myself up, make sure the energy level is going up, and, uh, you know, make sure I'm really feeling it for the video. Uh, so one thing that I will do I do have the clip-on ponytail, all right? That is definite. I don't know how this person found that out, but I do. It's not huge. A lot of the time, actually, I could hide it behind my head, um, but it, it definitely is there. So I'll clip it on. 
But then here's the big difference. Um, I will actually have the tune, I whip my hair back and forth. I will play that. But I'll also simultaneously play Wonderwall by Oasis. Good group right there. So I'll just let both songs play and um, I'll just go crazy. I mean, I'll start crawling up the walls and stuff. And uh, that really gets you into the into the mood for a review, you know. Nothing, nothing else does but that. So, uh, you know, especially on the days where I might be feeling a little more drained. Look, just get that ponytail on, cue up the music, and again, I'm going to be like a spider just crawling up the wall here. I mean, you won't believe your eyes. So um, that is that is true, partially. This question is asked surprisingly surprisingly often. Yeah. You know, did someone do a number two in your breakfast cereal? Uh, now, in this case, the viewer was mentioning Cheerios. Uh, that isn't true at all. This is completely false because I don't eat Cheerios. I'm a Lucky Charms type of guy. I always like, I like those marshmallows and even the cereal itself is enjoyable. Um, on occasion, I, I will get someone for the extra protein, you know, just a little... A little bit of extra for your breakfast. Again, especially on those days I'm feeling drained. Uh, it's just a pick-me-up. Really the perfect pick-me-up uh, you need, especially on a rough morning. So that gets you going. That really does. Um, but that's that's a pretty rare occurrence. So not usually. Usually it's just regular, innocent, um, non-defiled breakfast cereal. If that's a correct usage of the word. But um, that's all that there is. Learn to eat a disgusting, dirty mouse. No, I can't do that. That's part of my lineage, and I, I can't, I can't eat that. And finally, um, this one is actually going back to a classic, but again, it's 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 going back, so why not? Uh, back in twenty fifteen, I did a video about Loft House brand cookies. I was really disappointed with them, and um, I, I made my thoughts clear. So someone was wondering, because um, I still get some comments on that old video, what really happened? Leave the cookies alone! So obviously this is from the pro uh, loft house camp. I, here's what happened, because I know in the video I said I thought the cookies were just really gross tasting and uh, just tasted awful and I didn't like them. And again, that's just not really the full story. Uh, one thing that you had to realize about loft house cookies back in the day and obviously it's been a number of years. You know, the recipe has changed and uh, the cookies actually have changed. I've had them since then and they've never done this anymore. But one thing that you have to remember, for like a month or two back in, uh, I think it was the summer of 2015, the Loft House cookies had a small set of wings on the back. It wasn't in the frosting, it was on the other side. And it was barely noticeable, but there was a tiny little set of wings. And... I realize now, if it was really warm inside or outside, just if it was a warm temperature, that somehow uh, it just interacted and activated a certain component of the cookies, and it caused them to actually start flying around a little bit. So that night, I remember, it was a really warm night, but I went out for a night walk. I was out for a bit, uh, and I think I left some of the windows open, so it started getting quite warm inside. I go back inside, and I must see like six or seven of these cookies they were flying around the light bulbs like a moth would. Um, but just to even try to wrangle them up, uh, it was really tough. I almost fell and broke my ankle, and uh, I was just really, you know, flustered and upset by the whole thing. You know, partially at myself, but partially at their design team uh, for thinking it was a good idea to put wings on the cookies. And um, it was just one of those times where I was just done. I was just saying, look, never again. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to have to try to wrangle up some flying cookies anymore. And um, I was about ready to throw in the towel, but then I changed the recipe, you know, pretty quickly after that, because I guess other people were having that problem too. And, uh, you know, now, again, it's not perfect, but, uh, you know, I don't really have such animosity toward Loft House cookies anymore. So uh, those are some comments, was checking them out. Yeah, a little bit of everything, right? We got some good, we got some bad, some uh, genuine questions, some very angry people and uh, everything in between. I hope you found that enjoyable. I I, I did. I, I really had a good time here today, and uh, I, I thought this was great. It's just every day, you know, I always like checking out the comments, seeing what people have to say, and um, 
like I said, you know, you get some really, you get some nasty people and just some crazy folks. Um, but one thing that also really means a lot is all the messages of support that come in in the comments too. And uh, it just, it just really means a lot. So, you know, to everyone out there who watches the videos and comments, I always appreciate your feedback. And uh, you know, whether you agree or disagree with the reviews, I don't expect people to uh, agree with everything that I say or every assessment that I make. But uh, I, I always welcome and appreciate uh, feedback here on my videos and of all the content that I produce, the, the radio show, the podcasts, of course, these reviews and random videos. So uh, again, hope you found it entertaining. I had a great time and uh, hope you did too. All right, with that, um, coming up later this week, I think I'm going to be doing a new review. Maybe I'll try something from Taco Bell if I can get my hands on it. So stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, be safe, be healthy, and I wish you all the very best. That's all for now. Take care.